What's going on, Funk Collector family? Today we're starting a three-part series on whether or not you can make money off opening sports cards. We're going to be opening up these NFL trading cards. These are the Donruss Optic football cards, and we're going to see if we can make a profit on it. So let's get started. That's right, everyone. So with the recent hype around sports cards, I wanted to take a look at how we would do if we were to buy these products and how we would come out in terms of a profit or a loss and what the cards would be worth after we open the product. So as everyone knows, I hope there's a super big hype on sports card recently. And these are retail products. They sell these at Target and Walmart. And uh, typically hanger boxes go for about $15 and blaster boxes, which we have right here go for about $20. Now on the resale market, these hanger boxes have been going up to like 90 to $100 on eBay, according to recent comparisons. And this is actually an NFL Fanatics blaster box. So this is this one goes for about 120 to 130. So I'm gonna generally say this is about $200 in sports cards. Now I wasn't able to find these in store. It's almost impossible to find these in store. So I bought these on the resale market, um, which is basically the only way I'm able to find sports cards. But even since I bought these for resale, they've gone up a little bit in price as well. But we're going to see based on the $200 price mark if we can profit or if it's a very bad decision to open these. So let's find out. Now before we get started, it's time for our random comment highlighter from our previous video. And this comment comes from Christopher S. on my $1,000 Donruss Hobby Box. If you haven't had a chance to watch that, I'll leave a link right there. But he says, lame auto, but got some of the top rooks. That's absolutely correct. We pulled a Tyler Bay autograph out of that hobby box from Donruss, and it was not the best autograph. We did get some nice other cards, including the Net Marvels and some of the other top rookies, like he said. But the autograph was definitely a disappointment. But overall, we had a lot of fun in that video. That I heard, I'm not sure if it's true, but they had to stop the run of these while they shifted production towards NBA basketball, which, by the way, NBA Prism came out so crazy. The hobby boxes for those are $2,000. So um, naturally the retail cards for those jumped up to about $150 when it first dropped for hanger boxes and blaster boxes were going for like $300. It's insane. Very insane. But um, the sports cards market is only getting crazier. And these are going up in value, but we're going to open them up right now and see what we get and see if it's worth opening, or if in this case, it would have been better to keep it sealed. So let's get right into opening these. And before we get started, be sure to like this video and comment what card is your favorite one from this box. And if you guys think it's worth opening cards or if it's better to just keep these sealed. All right, so let's get into it. This hanger box is going for about like 90 to $100 now. When I bought it, it was around 45. So it's almost like doubled in price and I only bought it like maybe a month ago about it was actually the very first hanger I've opened too so let's see how we do it's just gonna be one stack of cards just like that and go ahead and uh, open it up it's on 49er on the back that's a good sign hometown on the back for the uh, for the blue shock, blue scope. I think it's blue scope on the back. So that's a good start. Okay, so starting off, we got Saquon Barkley, Mari Cooper, Nick Bosa. That's my first Nick Bosa card. So that's a good card to have. Philip Rivers, Tyran Matthew, Derek Carr, Calvin Ridley, Julian Edelman, AJ Green. Ben Roethlisberger. Okay, I think we're getting to the, uh, is it here? Oh, one more. Jake Fromm. Jake Fromm. Um, that's a, what is that, a black and white variant? That's, that's not a bad one. So, behind him, I think we got a silver. It's gonna be New York Jets. Denzel Mims, hopefully. I think he'd be the best one. Rated rookie. Denzel Mims, alright, that's a good card to get. Denzel Mims Silver, and behind that we got, ooh, Elite Series Brandon Ayuk. There we go. Here, 49er, he had a nice rookie season. Insert, good rookie. Okay, behind him we got a uh, Dominators Drew Brees, heading towards retirement, so um, 
wish Drew Brees all the best. He had a fantastic career. And let's see, behind him, next up we got Grant Delpit. And Jedrick Wills, both rookies for the Browns. Not too great. Not too great. And got a rated rookie. This one's going to be Henry Ruggs. All right, he's still, um, Jerry's still out on him. Hopefully he does better because I um, drafted him in my rookie dynasty league. So hopefully he does pretty well. Let's see. Okay, now we have a rookie of Trevon Diggs. And this one's going to be rated rookie. What color is this? Jordan Love? Okay. Blue Scope Jordan Love. That one's not bad. He's uh, still behind Aaron Rodgers, but I, it's still uh, up in the air how he's going to do. And the last one is Brandon Ayuk. Rated rookie. Okay, there we go. So that's the first box. We got some good rookies in here. Um, the Optic product does have a few more rookies than um, Prism. But uh, we didn't hit any of the big rookies in this one. We did get some good Niners though. So I'm going to go ahead and sleeve some of these. Alright, there we go. So that was the hanger box. Was not great. It was okay, especially with the Niners players. But from a return standpoint, we're going to see how we did on that one. But first, let's get into this blaster box. This Fanatics blaster box this has three blaster exclusives for Red Hypers. So let's see what kind we get in here. Hopefully this blaster does us a little bit better than the hanger. Cause I don't think that hanger is going to get as close to the $90 that the, um, the market rate is. So let's hope what's in here is a little bit better. It's going to come with, um, what is that, six packs? Six packs, I believe. And after, we'll do a summary to see how we did in comparison to that $200 mark. Okay, so first pack. Open it up, Elliot on the front. Okay. So we got Ezekiel Elliott, George Kittle. Alright, we're getting a lot of Niners. This is a, this is a good sign. And we got a rated rookie. Is this Antonio Gibson? Please not be Gandy Golden. Chase Young, Red Hyper. Alright, that's a pretty good one. Defensive player, but one of the red one of the top rookies and uh, red hyper. So that's a pretty good look. And the team color as well. And the last card is gonna be a rated rookie, you know Benjamin? Isaiah Simmons, I think he's a linebacker. So two rookies, two rated rookies in their team colors, that's pretty good. That looks nice, okay. First pack, that was a good first pack. Hopefully we can hit a uh, rated rookie of a top quarterback. Cause those are obviously the more sought after ones, so we'll see. Let's see if we can hit one. Okay, so here we go, Darius Leonard. The Colts, I think we got a silver back here. We got Travis Kelsey, and this is gonna be a rookie card. Cole McDonald for the Titans, silver. So that one's not too sought after. And here we go with a, is this a rated? No, rookie card. Noah Igmodonoga for the Dolphins. So if this is a rated rookie, it would have been Tua, but unfortunately we just got a Cole McDonald silver and a Noah I rookie card. Okay, so that pack was not the best. And here we go, pack number two. We still got five, pa four packs left. Okay, so first off, we got Mike Gusecki, tight end for the Dolphins. Silver Stefan Diggs had a really nice season for the Bills with Josh Allen. And Red Hyper number two, Patriots. Is it a rated? It's a rookie card. It's going to be Dalton Keene. Dalton Keene on the Red Hyper. And behind him, we have. Is that a rated rookie? Nope, rookie card for Tristan Wirfs. Tristan Wirfs, lineman for the Super Bowl champion Buccaneers. Okay. Oh, three packs left. Let's see what we can pull out of here. We got nothing really explosive yet, so uh, in 
terms of return, it's not looking too, too good, but it only takes one card. We got Deshaun Watson. We'll see if he stays with the uh, Texans this year. And behind him, not a rated rookie. It's going to be an insert of John Elway. And the last card is rated rookie, Eagles, Jalen Rieger. All right. Pretty good receiver this year. And I think he still has some potential. We'll see how he does in his sophomore campaign with uh, Jalen Hurts as quarterback number one. Oh, 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 I just dropped all of them. Okay. Okay, saved it. So we got, first off, we got Ryan Kerrigan. And we got Jared Goff, now with the Dolphins. And our third red hyper is a rated rookie. And this one is gonna be Cole Komet. We got a Cole Komet red hyper tight end for the Bears. He's uh, one of the one of the, the better players, I would say. And the last card is a rookie card for the Raiders. Damon Arnett, cornerback. Okay. All right, all right. So we have one pack left, and we didn't hit any of the big quarterbacks. So. You know, it really all comes down to this because I think we're going to be in trouble without them. I don't think the other ones are uh, going to get us back to that mark, but only takes one, as they say. Let's see how, how we go. Let's see how it is. Okay, so Tredavis White, Taysom Hill, and we have a silver rated rookie, and it's going to be Jalen Hurts Silver. That's That's pretty nice right there. That's a good one. We got both Jalen's on the Eagles. So that'll be a good one. But we'll see uh, what this last card is right now. It's going to be a Saint. And rookie card, Tommy Stevens. And I think he's playing behind um, Jameis Winston. So for the Saints. Okay, so we got we did get we did get one of the top quarterbacks in a silver parallel. So that's nice. I don't think it's going to quite get us there, but we're going to take a look. We're going to look at some comparisons and we'll see how we do. So stay tuned. Okay, here we go. So I'm not going to count these, uh, I'm not going to look these up, uh, the basic rookie cards. I'm guessing they go for like one to two dollars on eBay. So we're not going to look at those, but we are going to take a look at the more notable rookies that we got out of here. So we'll start with this uh, Brandon Ayuk Elite Series. So let's see what that goes for. And you want to hit the sold listings just to see what the comparisons are for the recently sold. So Brandon Ayuk Elite Series is probably going for about... So I'm going to include, and I'm going to include shipping here. So about $5 shipped. So we'll say $5. And then we'll look up Brandon Ayuk Blue Scope. Okay, so Brandon Ayuk Blue Scope is going for about... Hmm, prices seem to be all over the place. I'm gonna say... We'll say $8 there for the Blue Scope. Okay, so we got those two. Next so we got the Denzel Mim Silver. That one is gonna be... Prism. Silver Optic very specific so that looks like it's about eight bucks nine bucks eight bucks six bucks okay so we'll say we'll say ten ten bucks okay Trevon Diggs so the Trevon Diggs is going about five dollars we'll say five dollars Jordan Love, Jordan Love Blue Scope. Hmm. So looks like this one is going for about twenty to thirty. That's not bad. That's actually a lot more than I thought it was gonna go for. So we'll say looks like it's thirty-five, including shipping. We'll we'll say thirty-five. Not bad. I did not think this one was gonna be going for that much, but he is one of the top rookie prospects because um they're. It'll be interesting to see if he comes in after Aaron Rodgers. Next we got Jalen Rieger, just the normal base rookie. 
rated rookie. This one's going for $5? Is that right? Less. Okay. Let's say $3. We'll say about $3 on this one. And Jake from Jake from negative is going for about, we'll say $8 on this one. Okay, here's Henry Ruggs, just the normal base card. Who, by the way, was the top receiver taken in the draft last year. So, high expectations, but uh, he didn't really show too much this year, but he had some flashes. He did have some flashes. We'll say, we'll say $5. We'll say $5 for Henry Ruggs. Okay. So now we have a few more, and we'll see how that does. I mean, I think we're a ways off from the $200, but we'll just see how we do. So let me put these over here. We'll end with this, um, I'm feeling that's going to be the highest. So... We'll do it like this. We'll do it like this. Okay, so Stefan Diggs, first of all. Silver optic. Okay, so this saying it's about three to five dollars. Conservatively, we'll say five dollars. So five dollars for Jalen Hurts. And we got Dalton Keene, red hyper. Okay, so Dalton Keene is about $1, $5 shipping. So we'll say $5 shipped. So the total that we come out to will be including ship cost. Cole Komet Red Hyper is going for about 10 to 18, anywhere in between there. We'll say $15. Okay, so Chase Young Red Hyper I'm seeing right here. Oh, that's not bad, not, not bad, 25, 37. 42, so maybe it's going down a little bit. So we'll say, we'll go on the low end. We'll say 25 for this one. That's actually a, a little bit more than I expected for uh, Chase Young. Okay, so last one. Probably the biggest card, I would think. We got Jalen Hurts, Optic, Silver. And this one is going for about 75. It's not this one. 75 I see there, I see 60 here, I see 91. Old Prism, and the centering on this looks pretty good. It's like pretty centered, maybe a slightly wider on the left, but I'll probably send this in to get graded, although the top looks kind of... Yeah, it doesn't look that bad. I think I will send this in to get graded. So, I think we'll say we got 86 here. 60, 50. Okay, to be conservative, I'll say 75. 75 looks kind of in the middle. Okay, so I'll say 75. So not too bad, actually. I thought we did a lot worse. Considering the $200 um, price of the market value of these two boxes, let me do a quick summary here. After my quick calculation of the total value of the rookie cards that I calculated, I came out to $204, which is slightly above what the market value of these cards were. Would be completely honest, surprised me because I did not think we did super well considering, I mean, I think Jalen Hurts is probably the number four quarterback in terms of the card pools. You want Justin Herbert, Joe Burrow, Tua, and then Jalen Hurts. Although I am really thinking Jalen Hurts is gonna break out this year. He had definitely ended the season well. And I think next year, with them trading Carson Wentz with Colts, he's definitely poised to have a breakout season. Alright, so um, these turned out to be the biggest pulls from the box. The Jalen Hurts Silver, which is going about 75 which, and the center on this is really, really nice, which really surprised me. The Red Hyper for Chase Young. It, this, honestly, is a really nice card, but look at the, the bend on the card. That's just the way it's made, but the Red Hyper with the, uh, the team colors looks pretty cool for Chase Young, to be honest. And Jordan Love. The blue scope so these were the biggest cars but yeah overall definitely had a lot of fun opening these cars and I hope you guys enjoyed it be sure to hit that like button subscribe to my channel leave a comment on which cars you enjoyed seeing and I'll see you guys in my next video